I get this question a lot. What's the best way of learning Blender in 2024, 25, or 28? It doesn't fucking matter what year it is. The question remains the same. What's the best way to learn in general? Let's talk about it. Number one is it's really important. You need to find what you really like and stick to it. Niching down is probably one of the most important things you will ever do in your life. So once you learn what you really like, stick to it. And it's really important to stick to it. When you're going to be jumping from one thing to another, you're going to be master of fuck all. You want to really focus down and it's going to do multiple things for you. One, you're going to be doing something you really like and it's really enjoyable. Two, you're going to be able to charge more money because, you know, you're going to have less competition. Let's face it, if you're really good at something, there's fewer people around you that can be on your level so you can charge more money because you know there's less competition technically right which is why 99 percent of people who start let's say blender fail because they give up and the one percent you know goes higher and then one percent out of that one percent goes to the top right so it's up to you how far you're gonna go but the key here is to find what you really want to do and stick to it Another thing is that you should find a structured curriculum and follow a structured course or courses, right? This is why we created Jumpstart for you guys and it's a free course and it's just a few hours gonna teach you all the basics for Blender hard surface, you know, the modeling, the design, the UI, the whatever. And like I said, it's free, so go ahead and get it. The link is in the video description and we have nearly 100,000 students in that course and they fucking loving it, right? And it's one of the best ways of learning. Like when we started learning Blender with Josh, there was no structured content. It was either outdated or non-existent. So it was really tough because we had to go through videos, which basically the issue with going through YouTube videos is that you're repeating a lot of stuff that you know. So you're wasting time just to find these gems in one or two videos. So you're watching a three hour video to find two tricks you don't know. It's a waste of time right even more efficient way of learning is to join a group where you can get direct feedback or for example ask questions like you know academy 2.0 program i'm not advertising i don't give a fuck if you join or not it's up to you okay we offer these things it's up to you what you're gonna do with them but i'm just telling you how for example we study josh and i study business marketing advertising blender design every fucking day we joined multiple masterclasses, masterminds. We spent probably close to, I don't know, 60, 70 K in four years on education. Let that sink in, right? Another thing is that you need to grow a thick skin. That is really important. Okay. Remember this knowledgeable people will never bring you down. They will give you feedback, maybe harsh feedback, direct, very, very direct feedback because they value their time. And they also want to be honest because if you are looking for a feedback that's going to pat you in the back for no good reason, that's going to do more harm than good, right? Because on learning bad habits, it's way more difficult than learning something new in the correct way. So people who like to pursue knowledge, people who like to improve themselves, people who like to graft, okay, you know, the grafters, the hard workers, you can always expect honest feedback from them and if they really know what they're talking about they will try to help you because they will see the potential in you i go many times out of my way to help people that i can see they have potential i can see that they're really trying hard and they just need a little bit of encouragement or a little bit of help a push in the right direction right and it's a great feeling because you know you you kind of um well, giving back because, you know, you always get feedback from other people in your past and then you kind of give it back, right, to the community. But it also, it's kind of cool to see people grow, you know, as a teacher, I like I like seeing that. Only losers and fucking wannabes going to chirp you, okay? So if someone just gives you shit for no good reason, most likely they shit themselves, okay? So fucking ignore it and grow with thick skin, but... If someone gives you a proper feedback and it's a genuine criticism that's actually helpful with some pointers and, you know, and some sort of a direction to, you know, where you should go from now, then fucking listen, because that could save you fucking years. All right. It's really important. Now, thick skin is also important if you're going to be climbing. So the higher you go, the more people are going to try to drag you down because that's the nature of people. Look at fucking Reddit. It's a bunch of morons, right? 
all they do is fucking eat hot pockets and talk shit and fucking wank to garbage and post some, you know, rumors and whatever the fuck. It's, it's just a bunch of idiots, okay? If you want to be one of them, fine. But then don't aspire to actually achieve something, okay? Because you won't. It's that simple. People who are busy don't even fucking notice this shit, okay? They, they don't care. It, it doesn't exist because all they focus on is fucking self-improvement. Do you see what I mean? So when you're that busy and that focused, you don't give a flying donkey fuck. And that's where you want to be. You will fail a lot. I failed many times in my life, okay? My business has failed. My, my endeavors failed. My designs failed. I, my pictures failed. I have so many failures. You have no idea. But it doesn't matter because it's not what happened before. It's where you are at now, right? So it's it's the direction you go. It's a path you're taking. It's important. So if you're going to fail, it's just a stepping stone to go higher, okay? Because you just found a way that doesn't work. So just get the fuck up and keep walking because the only way you can fail is when you fall down and you don't get up, right? Because if you get the fuck up and you keep walking, then you haven't failed, you just tripped over. Okay, do you see what I mean? Also, try to treat failures as positive moments. Because usually, when you have a proper attitude, there's always something good coming out of a failure. Okay, so if you're going to have this attitude, right, this kind of a mindset, it's way easier not to just get over a failure, but also find something that's going to be positive or encouraging in that moment, right? Just you will learn something and then you bring it with you and with that experience you're going to be more knowledgeable and prepared for other things so failure is just a normal thing that's going to happen along the along the way it's a part of the process just embrace it and keep walking so again thick skin is going to help here because you're not going to think like you know oh i'm shit i'm fucking terrible who cares how good can you be in two days in a week in a year right trick is not to fucking give up Another thing is feedback, right? Like I told you, seek feedback from people who know shit. But when they talk, shut the fuck up and listen and take notes. It's going to save you so much fucking time, right? Turn off your fucking ego and listen. Because there's always someone who knows more than you do, right? It's good to be cocky. It's good to have an attitude. I get that because, you know, I have a character myself, right? And I don't like taking shit from people. But when someone actually is making sense and I see that I can learn something, I'm going to shut the fuck up and listen, okay? So really, listen to feedback when you know it's good, and you will know that's good when it's constructive, right? And the last thing is going to be repetition. I remember my father told me once when I was a younger kid, he said that uh, when you're learning something, right, anything, language, whatever it is, imagine yourself in a boat rowing up the stream, the moment you stop rowing, you start being pushed by the stream back to where you fucking started. Don't fucking stop rowing, okay? So keep repeating. So keep repeating what you're doing, right? If you're going to keep repeating what you're doing, just like in martial arts, if you repeat a move, kick, or a punch 10,000 times, the muscle memory is going to kick in, right? That's what you want because that's going to bring you higher and higher and higher. So repetition makes you a master, okay? You, you, you will eventually gonna get so fucking good it's gonna be a muscle memory but it takes a lot of time and patience now i know we live in times where you know you get these ads master this in two minutes or like you know master that in two clicks it's all fucking marketing don't fall for it okay you need to fucking graft you need to put in the work and you need to really try harder and harder every fucking day to achieve something in your life otherwise it's not gonna fucking happen whether it's blender or learning languages or fucking shagging. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. You need to keep practicing. Do you see what I mean? So practice makes perfect and it's actually true, right? So if you think that you can, you know, find some golden shortcut, it doesn't fucking exist. Now, the only thing that's going to get you quicker to your destination is these points I've just mentioned, right? So again, knowing what you want to do, which is niching the fuck down so you don't jump and stop wasting time. You don't listen to fucking morons and get the proper fucking course to learn what you want to learn once you know what you want to do. Because investing in yourself is never a bad thing, okay? If the money is well spent, it's going to benefit you, you know, in a way you can't even imagine, all right? Grow a thick skin because if you don't have it, you're going to fucking sit in the corner and crack a little baby. And this, this will not fucking help you because no one gives a shit, okay? No one gives a flying fuck about how you feel. 
no one right except for very few close friends that you have instead of focusing on what other people think about you just think what you want to do in life and just fucking go for it right so fuck everyone else okay doesn't mean that you need to be an egoistic prick but what i'm saying is stop fucking thinking too much about what other people talk about you because it doesn't fucking matter most of them are retards anyway so don't worry about it people will try to bring you down in your life you gotta get used to it the higher you go the the, the more people and the the, the you know the, with more force they will try to pull you down okay because they want you to fail that's a typical mindset of weak people of people who are fucking failures of losers right in short people on reddit you know i'm taking jobs at reddit because they are suspect of fucking morons but you know this kind of a type of people right you know the the brainless fucking sheep following some dumb fucking trend you know or jumping on a some kind of a fucking walk bandwagon no one gives a fuck about them intelligent people don't give a shit because we know what we want so be intelligent and stop fucking worry about it so again grow a thick skin yeah think of your failures as stepping stones because when you fail and stop and you give up you're wasting time again so you you're extending the time that's required to get you to your destination you know at the same time don't rush it because you really need to learn the basics so put the time in when it's really required right don't skip the basics don't skip the fundamentals because that will come back and bite you in fucking ass and also it, it's very possible that you know rushing things you're gonna be very superficial with your learning and you may actually learn some bad habits you know you're gonna neglect something oh fuck i do it later no just you know learn it properly okay then seek feedback because feedback is really important it's gonna save you a lot of time right and again finally repetition so repeat repeat until you're gonna get to wherever you want to be and honestly you're never gonna reach mastery because this shit doesn't exist i've been studying composition lighting you know and negative space and visual aid for over 20 years which is more than some of you are fucking alive and i still i'm still learning and i'll be learning till i fucking die okay it just doesn't end so don't think that you're gonna arrive to a point where you know you're gonna be no know it all a master of fucking of everything because the higher you are the more you can see and the more you can see the more you know how much you don't know okay you realize oh shit you know i know fuck all basically and to be honest you know the, the more knowledgeable you are the the quieter you become because one you're busy really busy right and two you realize how much you don't know you get it so that's it in a nutshell that's what i can tell you from my life experience which is almost a half a century in right now so you know it counts for something and um you know i've been there i've done that and i've made a lot of fucking mistakes i've wasted a lot of fucking time in my life and if i was actually let's say 20 right now i would be doing shit in a completely different way because when i was younger i remember i thought i'm indestructible i you know i got all the time in the world i you know i want and it's bullshit you don't okay time is really quick and it's really vicious all right so you know don't waste it because you can't fucking buy it back all right take it easy and good luck to you